Day number two, we are in Pickens, South Carolina right now. Home of, well, all of this stuff. Today we are going to be going down to Greenville, South Carolina, and I'm ashamed to say I don't really know a whole lot about Greenville, South Carolina, other than apparently it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Took a look on TripAdvisor, see what there is to do. We're going to take the family down to the Greenville Zoo and maybe see what else is down there today, but uh, it's actually more built up than I ever thought it would be. Now Pickens is, Pickens is decidedly rural. The area we're in right now is, is uh, one of the nicer areas. There's a, a golf course right behind the house. Uh, this is my aunt and uncle's house, by the way. Uh, nothing that yours truly can afford at this point. But uh, I think we're going to head down to Greenville, see what's down there, and then maybe head back to Orlando. Join us again. Here we are arriving at the Greenville Park slash Zoo. I'm sure there's a more official name for it, and we'll figure out what that is, but uh, look at this big park that they got here. I believe that's the zoo up there, but uh, we've got two little ones under the age of six, so of course we're going to check out the park first. Pretty sure if you've seen one park, you've seen them all within reason, so uh, I think maybe we'll shut down now and just to jump back in when we get inside the zoo kind of mentioned that as as we came in here through uh, Greenville, absolutely amazing. Nothing around here, and then suddenly there's this quaint, but still big city feel uh, area. A lot of old history, uh, a lot of cool buildings. Definitely a city kind of uh, going through a renaissance. And then suddenly you just pop open into this zoo slash park. Some lemurs. What are the lemurs thinking? And now he's putting on a show. Not a good show. And now to enter the Tunnel of Love. Pretty sure this isn't actually a Tunnel of Love. Now this next part I debated a little bit before I decided to film it because I know a lot of people don't like the creepy crawlies, but in the spirit of making sure that I show a uh, true picture of what we're doing right now, I give you the Chamber of Horrors. Look at the Look. Madagascar hissing cockroaches. The rose hair tarantulas. Those are hissing cockroaches that they like to eat fruit. Uh, more tarantulas over here. A snake. A hog nosed snake. You want to get down? And a whole bunch of other yummy stuff. He kind of looks like a snake. I think he did. Lizard, huh? Climb up. Well, he looks cozy. Yeah, well, he looks cozy. Gila monster. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. Ah, uh, yes. This should be pretty if you're sneak sneak for clever. And that, of course, goes well with the girl for Durka Shikling for her frog. Which is obviously very rare. Uh huh. Right there in the water. Look at the size of that one. Albino Burmese Python. I like that Do you like that yellow? This is kind of cool. Being from Orlando, we see vultures all the time, but we got some some pretty big ones back here that are kind of chasing some of the little birds that are landing in their enclosure. It's kind of hard to see them. They keep going back behind the trees. Those are some big vultures. There he goes again. See the one in the back? Kind of chasing some of the birds. They're not exactly predators, they're just scavengers. So I'm not really sure what they do if they caught a bird. And I'm kind of hoping I don't find out. 
Adabra tortoises. These two are over 600 years old, and I just made that up. Spending a couple of quiet minutes alone with the giraffe. Now, I don't know if this is the giraffe or if it's a different giraffe, but one of the giraffes just gave birth to a baby giraffe uh, maybe about two weeks ago. Baby giraffe is not on uh, display at the moment. And to be honest with you, without getting into the details, I'm pretty sure this is the male. But I was kind of hoping to see the baby giraffe today. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Still, I'm the only one over here at the moment, as you can see. Uh, here comes somebody. So, Jeffrey and I have a couple moments of peace and quiet to get to know each other. Very quiet zoo. We got a lion over in the corner as well. Kind of hard to see him. We'll zoom in a little bit. Obviously, he's very comfortable and not particularly shy. Oh, no worries. No! There's a second one in the corner. It's kind of hard to see. I think it's actually two males. I've never seen two males kept together in a cage. Or an enclosure or whatever we're talking about today. There he goes. A little bit of motion here. Could be wrong, but I'm guessing that one is a little bit older. And just as tired. This is actually pretty cool. Looks like we have the primate area. And I know maybe about an hour ago, we heard all the primates just going absolutely nuts. People of the forest. So they call orangutans. Ian, come here. You can see me. You say hello. Yep. Hello. He's thrilled to have us here, obviously. Okay, I said he, but obviously I meant she. She ate us! The leopard. Yeah, we did. We gave him a coin, so, you know, do a trick or something. Yeah, there. He's holding it in his hand. He dropped it. He dropped it. Thank you, Mookie. That was so gross. All right, apparently we're getting a show. Oh, this guy right here, Red Panda. You're missing the big event. No, I was busy filming the person having the reaction to the thing pooping. That was the real show. Did you see the male stuck his fingers up her bum to help her poop? Yep. This is all on tape, by the way. What are you? Sun comes up, baby. We'd have to cover baby bird, which is our Oh! Wait, guys! Hold on, I'm And here's where you have uh, the show. Not a very good show. But if you want to sit and watch, yeah, there you go. Hi. Well, this would be the white-nosed Coty. Lens flare. We kind of got our J.J. Abrams thing going on here. Well, I think that's about it for the Greenville Zoo. We've walked around all of it. It's like I said, it's about an hour or two hour zoo at most. It's definitely worth uh, checking out if you are in Greenville, South Carolina, which, by the way, is a beautiful uh, city. And there's an owl. If you get a moment, just reach down below where it says subscribe. Give it a little click, and immediately Ed McMahon will pop up and reward you with a large check, which I have to warn you might be a little disconcerting because he's been dead for about six years. See you next time for some exploring.